Here it is, friends, in all its seemingly slow motion glory, my first backside board slide, and my second, and many more. But how did we get here? Well, first, my local park is under construction right now, and they removed that big square flat bar. So I ended up here on a recommendation, which is about twice as far away, but does have these cute little round rails that were really perfect. And then I also got to skate one of my friend's flat bars as well. And as you saw, it was just what I needed. So let's get into what is working and what's not working so that hopefully something in my progression can help you too. So what works? One, wax works. I wax this bar and my deck gradually, starting with a little and adding some more here and there to help me slide. But wow, upon review of the footage, I am riding at a snail's pace and no reasonable amount of wax would have been enough to outweigh that. But this rail still needed wax. It was rusty and still not very slick after three coats. I got stuck on it constantly, as opposed to my friend's rail, which was painted and didn't really need wax at all. I didn't stick as much and slid much farther. So just keep in mind that wax could make a big difference. Two, small ollie practice onto the bar works. Since this was a round rail, I didn't have the options of balancing on top or practicing a small dismount to get warmed up. I just had to go for it. And that first ollie up was absolutely terrifying, but turned out to be no big deal for my current skill set. A good ollie up onto the rail actually feels pretty stable. And once I got that first ollie out of the way, it truly was not that scary. Three, a straight or rather straight run up works well for this small bar. In the previous videos, the rail was simply way out of my comfort zone. So I rode in at a much larger angle just because I wasn't comfortable enough to do the straight run up and a 90 degree ollie. But with the small bar, I felt confident jumping into straight run ups right away. And I don't think that I could do this on the taller bar yet. For having my feet forward works, for me at least. Last time, I mentioned that I noticed my feet were really far back on the board when landing on the bar, increasing my chance of landing heel heavy and slipping out. Well, moving my feet farther forward on the deck towards the toe side edge did indeed help. I was much more likely to stick and run forward than slip back in this session. So keeping my feet forward during the run up and then trying not to pull my foot too far back when I ollied helped a lot. You can see here that the farther my front foot lands back on the deck, the more likely I was to be heel heavy and slip out. If you have a bar like this, hitting right here works. At least it did for me. I actually landed a bunch of board slides later during this session and this seemed to really be my ideal spot. Too close to the end was both too scary and ran the risk of tipping this bar over in particular, but also starting too far back wasn't going to work for me because I'm just not skilled enough and I'm not riding fast enough to carry me through to the end of the bar. So look for your sweet spot. You can start at the end and move back or start further back and move forward. I was very afraid of the end, so I chose to start back and move my way forward until I found that sweet spot. And while using this little rail, I found that my sweet spot was also about here. And now since I'm feeling a lot more comfortable in this spot, I'm once again trying to move my way back. So what doesn't work? One, this slow speed doesn't work. During the session, it definitely felt like I was rolling faster than I can see now, which is a great reason to record your sessions in my opinion, since you might think you're doing something and then look back to see that you weren't doing it at all, but I digress. I know that I'm going too slow here. I knew during this session too, although I didn't quite understand it to this extent. Either way, I'm not exactly mad about it. I want to take my time and I'm very well aware that this slow speed is going to be a huge factor in why I'm not sliding very well. And it was probably the reason why I was sliding better in the second and third session since I was able to ride faster and felt a lot more confident. Two, this tall posture doesn't work. I think I'm standing up way too straight in many of my attempts. You can see how my legs get very straight here because I jump up and then extend my legs down to pin the board to the bar, but then I'm just in a perfect posture to fall forward or back, almost like I'm tripping over the bar. Now I did try to exaggerate my crouch a few times, and this was something a new acquaintance at the park mentioned working for him as well, but once again, upon review, I definitely was not crouching. 
I think it'll really be worth emphasizing this going forward. I think it was a part of the reason I kept getting stuck a lot and ran forward, especially in the first session. Because it seems to me that the moment of contact is when I'm most likely to stick. And I think it's partly an issue of momentum. Right here, top to bottom, my body is traveling at the same speed and momentum forward. But when I ollie up onto the bar, my deck and lower body suddenly are met with resistance in the form of friction and the pressure of my feet pushing down on the bar, which makes my lower body slow down and my upper body continue to move at the same speed, which means my upper body is moving faster than my lower body. You can also see how my shoulders are not over the deck, but way in front as they kind of leave the deck behind. I think that when my legs are straight, this is more likely to happen. Instead, I need to keep my legs more bent and brace my lower body so that the deck and my shoulders can stay in line throughout the slide. 3. Shoulders not directly over the deck doesn't work. In trying to figure out what was affecting my slides, I did notice one pretty common factor was how directly my shoulders stayed over the deck. When my shoulders were right over it, I was more likely to slide well. When they were behind the deck, I was more likely to slip out. And when they were in front of the deck, I was more likely to get stuck. Of course, it's combined with how well I bent and braced my lower body, how well my feet were positioned on the deck, etc. But it would be hard to say it didn't have a major impact when clip after clip's success was pretty well correlated to how well my shoulders were positioned. But what can we do? Because it's definitely not going to be easy to intentionally keep my shoulders right over the deck. So I would say do your best to keep leaned forward. It's probably safer to run through the slide than it is to slip back. And also brace your lower body so that you can keep the deck as under your shoulders as possible. Now, after having skated three flat bars, for me, more than anything, having a bar at a comfortable height was the biggest advantage. So if you really want to learn how to board slide, I would do anything you can to find a bar you'd feel comfortable learning to slide on. But for anywhere, I think that a combination of good speed, adequate wax, keeping your body weight centered and forward, embracing the lower body should help me get a pretty decent board slide. Getting my body to do this is a whole different matter, but at least I can control how much I wax the flat bar. Oh. 